the next speaker would be uh, Dr. Tawseef Ahmad. I have the pleasure of inviting Dr. Tawseef Ahmad. I, I heard uh, in, uh, he, he is the medical director and GM of Mura. Uh, I heard an interesting uh, aspect of Dr. Tawseef Ahmad from one of his colleagues that he was uh, a radio jockey for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, background and we'd like, love to hear more about that. <laughs> I'm actually a doctor though. <laughs> <laughs> the radio jockey happened along, this, along the way, so thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Chandrakant, for that kind introduction, and thank you, Jose. Uh, it's, it's such a refreshing break after two years of webinars and webinars and webinars to finally be sitting here face to face talking to all of you. But I still, I still see that there is still some inertia because in the entire audience, I'm probably one of four people who are wearing a tie. Everyone's still, you know, kind of slowly moving out of that space, which is nice. It's fine. Uh, you know, the last two years have changed the way we look at life. Very interestingly, um, Jose had um, told us, I mean, first of all, thank you for the opportunity, Jose. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. He had told the burden on healthcare. The burden on healthcare we're looking at is simply because we're going to have a larger aging population. That's good because our healthcare system is getting better and better. We are able to treat diseases better so more people survive. What if these older people were healthy? Would there still be a burden on healthcare? That's the thought that we should have. Health should be about health, not about our ability to handle the disease. Yes, it should be about our ability to deal with our health and keep it safe with us. So on that note, let's talk about Nura. This is how we look on the inside. I assure you we look good on the outside as well. <laughs> so what is Nura? Nura is what my team likes to call it, a premium AI health screening center, but definitely it is the first of its kind in India. It brings together two people who work very closely with health, Fujifilm. Most of us know Fujifilm as the camera company or the photo film company, but they also happen to be the leading medical equipment maker in Japan. And they are on their way to becoming uh, a big healthcare company. Because if you remember this tablet called Fabiflu, Favipravir is Fujifilm. So they made that medicine through their subsidiary called Toyama Pharmaceuticals, right? So Fujifilm is not only going into imaging, investigating, they are also into treatment. Now they're coming into preventive screening. Yes, and I'll tell you how. So what we're doing is we're trying to bring the best of AI-enabled imaging technology to improve your health screening experience. So let's start from the beginning though. Health screening. What is health screening? It's a nice picture, uh, thanks to Sai, who's sitting there. This picture shows a shark hiding under the wave. And there's this surfer enjoying his life, having a great time. Surfers are literally at the peak of physical health because you need really good core body strength to be standing on that board, right? But he doesn't know what dangers are lurking underneath. And if he becomes a victim to that danger, he cannot do what he loves to do. So screening allows you to continue to do what you love to do all your life. That's what screening allows, okay? So what's killing India? What's happening to our health, right? Number one, heart disease, heart attacks. That's the number one killer in India and in the world. One out of two people in the world die from heart attacks. That's, that's it, that's how it works. Some countries have managed to roll it back, like Japan. Japan, number one killer is not heart attack. It's probably the only country in the world where heart attack is not the number one killer. Cancer is in Japan, right? So that's where it is. In India, it is heart attack, followed closely by lung diseases, unfortunately. And then, of course, we have cancers here as well. Whereas in the rest of the world, cancer is at number two. There are no infections here. These are what we call non-communicable diseases, right? When you say non-communicable diseases, it means these are diseases that grow very slowly. They just slowly grow in your system. And one fine day, they wake up and say, look, I'm here. Hello. What if you were able to find them out before they became that big problem for you? You could reverse it. 
you could make sure they don't pick up, become a big problem. It's not like an infection suddenly happens, you walk through, got infected, and then you had to take some antibiotics or medicines to cure it, right? So this is what is uh, our problem. So how do we ensure that a healthy lifestyle is maintained? And, and everybody talks about this, yes? Everybody knows this. We have to have good nutrition, make sure we do good exercise, make sure we deal with stress very well. I, I'm saying meditation, but it could be different ways, you know? Even running or reading, anything could be a stress buster for you. And of course, travel and leisure. When you, the fact that all of you are sitting here and I'm sitting in this room is so enriching for me. I feel, oh, my life suddenly has purpose. Today I've seen, I've learned at least two new things which I didn't know existed before. And I can have a much better, vibrant conversation in any other group. I can say, oh, you know what? I heard about this. Wow, so fantastic. So when we travel, our perspective on, the, on, on our life and the world around us changes. And it makes us more excited to live in this life. Yes? But also preventive health screening. How many people in India do you think do preventive health screening? I don't know, right? Uh, even when I talk to doctors, like after, I, I'm, I'm an emergency physician by training, but I moved into preventive health screening uh, a year ago. So when I talk to my doctor friends and say, dude, come to my center, I'll screen you. Ah, what if I find out something? Hey, I don't want to go. I'm like, that's the whole purpose. Find out before it finds you. Find out, right? And then you treat it. I have doctors saying this. So what's the regular Indian going to say? Right? So that's the problem. Okay, so what is screening? Our routine is generally where we always like to work. Our innovations happen in this stream. You make a diagnosis, you do the investigations, you treat the person and send them back home safely. And all our innovations are fo focusing there. How quickly can I do this diagnosis? How fast can I send them home? How quickly? And, and TRIAS is a beautiful innovation. How well can I document? If you don't document well, you don't know what to do when the person comes back to you next. You have to document well. But we're all working in that space. Screening is you being proactive. You are proactively approaching your health before disease attacks it, before the disease strikes you. You're proactively approaching your health and screening yourself to find out, is there something wrong, some minor tinkering that I do, which can avoid a bigger spend later, not just on your finances, your physical health, your mental health, and also the, the amount of time that you spend staying in a hospital or meeting a doctor, right? So that's what screening allows you to do. So why Noura? Right? I also had a slide in between saying screening and the benefits. I said, no, it's right. Let's just talk about Noura. Okay, why Noura for screening? Okay, so today when we say screening, what do we think? Annual health checkup. Go, do a few blood tests, do an ECG, echo, chest x-ray, maybe an ultrasound. Right? That's what we try to do. Let me give you some truths about these tests. Yes, the blood tests are good. You know, if you're checking for your liver, your kidney, your, your blood health, yes, they're good. ECG echo can identify a heart attack only after they happen. Not before, not before. So a lot of people say, I did an ECG last week. Suddenly, how did this gentleman get up with a, get land with a heart attack? It cannot tell you until the heart attack happens. It does not tell you what is the blood health. A treadmill test, on the other hand, you run and then you stress yourself and then you find out, oh, is that affecting my heart or not? Yes, it can give you some idea, but you have to put yourself through stress. What if you're able to find out without the stress? That's important. And none of these tests that you do as an annual health checkup detects cancer. They don't tell you about obesity. We only look at BMI, which is a poor marker. They don't tell you about obesity because the obesity is the underlying cause for all lifestyle diseases. Absolutely, right? You take heart disease, you take cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, hyper, hypothyroidism, everything is obesity. That is the killer, right? And where's the fat? It's the internal fat, right? Okay, so Noura is driven and backed by artificial intelligence. And there is a low dosage of radiation during scan, and we get real-time and accurate health reports. This is what we do. This is our innovation. Because we need a CT scan to tell you better details about your health, but we don't need the radiation. So Noura has decided to just bring the radiation down, but that brings us a problem. We don't get good images when we bring the radiation down. It's like having a high power lens versus a low power lens. So we're using a low power lens to capture the image. So we use the AI to change that image to what we get from a high power lens. That in a nutshell is what Noura does. And it does it in real quick time, within two hours. The moment you finish, you have the reports with you and you can get it consulted with the doctor right away, right there. Okay, and don't worry, this doctor is not stealing you away from your regular doctor. He's just telling you, these are your reports, go back to your regular doctor and then find out what more you can do about it. Right, so how we different feature. It's the first of its kind in India, it's AI-based screening. You don't have a screening center like this. Of course, some labs do advertise we're doing AI, but it's more algorithms, right, that they use. 
Uh, we have at least 15 organ uh, parameters that we check under one roof, whereas most labs just do bloods, and I said ECG echo ultrasound. Here we try to do a little more complete analysis of your body, although we are missing, say, the brain and the thyroid, but the rest of the body reasonably gets screened. So we scan for cancers, mainly the top uh, five cancers in India in women, like breast, cervix, we look for oral, lung cancer, colon cancer. In men, we also add prostate cancer instead of breast and cervix. And we do it only in two hours, so you don't have to wait an all day or six hours, get the reports at the end of the day. No, your reports are available in the, at the end of those two hours. Your doctor consultation happens at the end of the two hours. You don't have to go somewhere else and do it, right? So same day, that's what happens. And yes, there is personalized assistance. So there's always somebody at the center to guide you through the whole process. So you feel you're taken care of the moment you walk in and then you go out. So you don't feel lost at any point of time. Don't say, okay, go here, do that test. Go there, do that test. Somebody's always with you. And of course, when we give you the report, we make sure it's not only numbers, it's in a format that you can easily understand. It's like an ABCD, it's a report card that comes out at Noura. So you say, okay, I've got an A, I'm doing great. I've got a D. I've had people come from the same families and then compare, hey, how many A's did you get? I got, you know, so many A's. I, that's fantastic. I wish everyone would look at it that way. Yes, you want to compare your health, not keep it as a stigma. I don't want to tell about my problems to anybody when it comes to health, right? Okay. This is our technological advantage. I already mentioned the ultra low dose CT scan. We, our radiation level is like that of an X-ray and one or two X-rays. And we can show you data on this. It's just one or two X-rays. It's not to see you know, a CT scan. Conventional CT scan takes about three months to get out of your system, the radiation. The, the X-ray takes about three days to four days or you know, maximum one week. And that's what we do at our center, okay? We also have 3D digital mammography. Right? And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. We also do oral screening. There's a dentist in place. We use some artificial intelligence and we do that. And then there's colposcopy. So when you do cervical cancer screening, there is the gynec examination, then you have pap smear, and then you have colposcopy, and then biopsy. We do colposcopy straight away. So we're already a little far, I mean, further ahead than just doing a pap smear. Right? And we do a DEXA scan, which gives you your strength of your bones. Instead of just relying on vitamin D and calcium, you can tell, is my bone strong or not? And you can say, how much muscle I have, Do I, and which are the areas that I need to increase muscle and reduce fat. And this is our CT. So like I said, with our low lens or low radiation, that's the image we get. Okay, and that's what you would get in the, the one in the middle is what you would get if you gave a high dose CT scan. So what we try to do is we take the low dose, put the AI and get the image without the radiation. Tara. So it works. So it helps us. So that's the image that we get. And our second AI also ma manages to find, when Chandra Khan gets up, I get worried. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So also managed to find the lesion there. So that's the second AI. So we're dual AI. Women, the biggest problem with going for mammogram is the pain. We managed to reduce the pain. Our innovation makes sure that the plate that comes down and presses on the breast molds around the breast. So we have screened about 1,200 women, and all of them have said, I feel better. I'm not worried about doing my annual screening anymore because the pain has come down. So there's no pain now. I mean, very minimal. You just have mild discomfort, but not that heavy pain when two plates squash down on your, you know, crush down on the breast. And this is what we have done. This is a case study. This was with the naked eye, a doctor recognizing cancer in 2013. The AI recognized the same cancer in 2011. That's what helps. So we use dual AI for detecting the mammogram. This is the only center in the world which uses dual AI for detecting the lesion. Okay, so we use both Lunet and Transpara for this. Right, and this is heart calcium score. This is where we are definitely better than an ECG echo or a treadmill. Without the stress, we are able to tell how much calcium is deposited in your heart vessels. So you have a great idea. This is a real-time image of somebody that had a high calcium score. We were able to say it. And most of this has been you know, highly sensitive. We picked up, people have gone and gotten treated. The cardiologists have been happy with what we have shown them. And we managed to pick up for people who never thought they had heart disease, okay? So that's that. Visceral fat, it tells you how much fat, the red color area in the image there is the fat inside. The blue color area is the fat outside. Of course, we've colored it, it doesn't look that way. But yeah, you know, but we see it from the outside. We say, oh, he's slim or not slim. I have visceral fat and I didn't know it. I thought I was a reasonably fit person, but I am about 10 centimeters more and, and I'm trying to work on that, yes? So this is again a problem. This is the obesity problem that I was talking about. And this is the report that I was talking about. So we show your ABCDs. So you're very clear. So I had C this year, when I come back next year, and we tell you to do it only once a year. We're not saying, oh, come back every three months or six months. Once a year, because the NCDs, the non-communicable diseases, take time to develop. So if you know reasonably and you're working on it, you're all right. And it's non-fasting. We don't ask you to come empty stomach. Come any which way. Okay, I was walking through Andranagar. Oh, let's me walk in. Just come do the screening and go back. So it's fine. Okay. 
Right, that's about it. Before you ask me to stop, we welcome you to the Nura way of life. We ask you to choose health, and I thank ICT for the opportunity, and I thank Joe for the opportunity and our future ICT. Thank you so much, and this is this is where we are. Thank you. Happy to answer any questions later. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ahmad. Uh, in the interest of time, I'll save a.